We are living in a society where people don't understand the pain and problems of others unless they walk in our shoes. Joker shows us how society turns a poor innocent man into a ruthless person. Arthur lives with his single mother. He has a passion for stand-up comedy and idolizes a famous host who runs a TV show. For a living, he has been working in an advertising company. He gets bullied by a group of boys. He tries to explain his employer what happened but the employer scolds him and says that he will not pay his wage. Next day Arthur explains to his coworker what happened the previous day. His coworker gives him a gun and asks him to use it next time when he gets into trouble. While returning home, Arthur tries to play with a little kid on the bus. His mother gets infuriated and asks Arthur not to disturb them. Arthur has a mental condition where he laughs uncontrollably. One day while Arthur visits his psychiatrist, she asks him to show his diary. She finds Arthur written, I don't want to die awfully as I have spent my life. Arthur's mother talks about a businessman named Thomas, whom she believes will help them if he comes to know about their financial condition. Next day, he meets a single mother with her daughter on the way. Arthur starts liking her. Soon, they develop friendship. While Arthur is performing at Children's Hospital, his gun accidentally falls out from his pocket. His employer fires him after the incident. He tries to defend himself saying that it was a toy gun. But the employer replies that his co-worker has already told him that Arthur has taken his gun away. Arthur gets disheartened since his co-worker had himself given the gun to him. While Arthur is returning home, he sees three men harassing a girl in the train. He begins to laugh because of his mental disorder. Mistaking that Arthur was laughing at them, they start to attack him. Arthur suddenly pulls out his gun and shoots them. He flees from there, reaches home and locks himself in a lavatory. He was in fear initially, but then he started dancing. In the TV broadcast, Thomas says that those who got killed were his men. They were killed by a clown, and the people are supporting the clown instead of feeling sorry which shows the hatred for rich people from common man. Next day when Arthur visits his psychiatrist, she tells him that she cannot treat him free of cost anymore since the government has stopped funding. Which makes Arthur get dejected again. Arthur shows up in a stand-up comedy show, but he couldn't make the audience laugh. In anxiety, he begins to laugh loudly. While he comes back to home, his mother asks him to post a letter which is for Thomas. She reveals Arthur that Thomas is his father. Arthur leaves to meet his father. He saw Thomas's son at the gate. He tries to play with him, but Thomas's workers ask him to leave the place. 
Arthur tries to explain that Thomas is his father. The workers didn't believe and mocked him. Arthur gets upset and leaves the place. Going back home, he comes to know that his mother suffered a heart attack and was rushed to hospital. Two police officers inquired him about the murders in train, for which Arthur replied that he doesn't know anything. Arthur watches his favorite comedy show in which his idol was performing. When he comes to know that his idol is actually mocking him in the show, he gets hurt. On the roads, people wore clown makeup and were protesting against aristocratic people. Most of them were against Thomas. Knowing that, Arthur also put on his clown makeup. He enters inside the theater where Thomas was present. He meets Thomas and tries to explain about himself and his mother. Thomas didn't care and he punched him. Arthur returns home and he was again called by the police for interrogation regarding the train killings. Meanwhile, Arthur's favorite comedian invited him on his show, since his show gets popular after he played the clip of Arthur. He visits the psychiatric hospital where her mother had been treated. He steals the record of his mother from there. He comes to know that his mother was in relationship with another person, who used to torture her physically. Arthur's mental condition was due to the head injury that happened during the domestic violence. The dejected Arthur moves to meet his friend, the single mother. But she doesn't exist. It was all his imagination. The disturbed Arthur goes to the hospital and chokes his mother to death. Back at home, he comes to know that Thomas is his real father, and his mother was telling the truth. He put on his clown makeup. Meanwhile his co-workers came to his house and inquired about his mother's death. Arthur, who was already dejected by the betrayals, kills his co-worker violently. Arthur gets ready to go to the comedy show is invited by his idol. And the police officers arrive there to inquire about train killings. And he escapes from there. He reaches the TV show set. The host asks him why he was in clown makeup. He replies that's what makes him happy. And he admits in the TV show that he was the one who killed those three people on the train. He defends himself saying that he did it to raise the voice of poor people against aristocracy. He wants equality in society. And he accuses the TV host that he invited him not because of sympathy or his skills. He invited him just to increase his show's popularity by mocking him. The host denies that. Arthur suddenly shouts that he was lying and takes out his gun and shoots him. Police arrest Arthur. While taking him, Arthur observes that there are many people supporting him on the way. They set him free. Now everyone sees him as an idol. Meanwhile Thomas was leaving the city with his current wife and son. But a clown kills them, firing his gun. But he does not harm their son. In the last scene, Arthur visits the psychiatrist, where he is laughing without reason. When she inquires why he was laughing, 
he replies that she will never be able to understand how he feels. And he leaves the place. The movie ends here. Thanks for watching.